Hey everyone, welcome back to Walk and Study. Today we will be going over some advanced TOEFL and IELTS vocabulary. This video is great for anyone studying for the TOEFL or IELTS, or anyone who wants to learn some common and important English vocabulary. As we work through these words, we will be walking around Savannah, Georgia, which is a well-known city in the American South. Alright, let's get started. Our first word is diminish. Diminish is a verb, and it means to become less smaller, weaker, etc., or to make something become less, smaller, weaker, etc. Using diminish in a sentence, we could say, Anika's headache diminished after taking a painkiller. So, Anika's headache became less painful after taking a painkiller. Another example could be, Water resources are rapidly diminishing. So, water resources are rapidly becoming smaller. Diminish is synonymous with decrease. If you memorize that diminish means decrease, it will be easier to remember the meaning. The adverb rapidly that we used in our previous example sentence is also a good word to know. Rapid is the adjective form, and it means something happening or moving very quickly, and rapidly is the adverb, and it's used to talk about something that is happening or moving quickly. It's a word that will look good in your essays, especially if you're talking about something like a process that is changing or growing. Using rapid in a sentence, we could say, There was a rapid rise in snow boot sales before the snowstorm. So, there was a quick rise in boot sales before the snowstorm. Okay, our next word is subtle. Subtle is an adjective, and it means not very obvious or easy to notice. Using subtle in a sentence, we could say, No one noticed that Jorge got a haircut because the change in his hairstyle was very subtle. So no one noticed that Jorge got a haircut because the change in his hairstyle was not very obvious or easy to notice. Another example could be, Amrit dropped subtle hints to his mother about what he wanted for his birthday. So Amrit dropped not very obvious or easy to notice hints to his mother about what he wanted for his birthday. Okay, our next word is antagonize. Antagonize is a verb, and it means to make someone angry or unfriendly towards you. Using antagonize in a sentence, we could say, Sam has antagonized her colleagues by rejecting all of their ideas. So, Sam has made her colleagues angry or unfriendly toward her because she rejected all of their ideas. Another example could be, The U.S. government won't take actions that might antagonize the Canadian government. So, the U.S. government won't take actions that might make the Canadian government angry or unfriendly. All right, our next word is widespread. Widespread is an adjective, and it means existing or happening over a large area or among many people. Using widespread in a sentence, we could say, There was widespread support for the senator's plan. So, there was support that existed among many people for the senator's plan. Another example could be, Cyberbullying has become more widespread in recent years. So cyberbullying has started happening among many more people in recent years. Our next word is peripheral. Peripheral is an adjective, and it means not as important as the main person or the main aim or part of something. Using peripheral in a sentence, we could say, the manager wanted to focus on the main problem and discuss the peripheral issues later. So, the manager wanted to focus on the main problem and discuss the issues that were not as important as the main problem later. We could also say, 
the vice president is peripheral to the president. So the vice president is not as important as the president. All right, our next word is sequence. Sequence is a noun, and it means a series of related events or things that have a particular order. Using sequence in a sentence, we could say, the detectives analyzed the sequence of events that led to the crime. So, the detectives analyzed the series of related events that happened in a particular order, and they probably did so to understand who committed the crime. Another example could be, the presentation slides had to be arranged in a particular order. So, the slides for the presentation had to be arranged in a particular order. Our next word is abundance. Abundance is a noun, and it means a very large quantity of something. Using abundance in a sentence, we could say, there is an abundance of wildlife in Colorado. So, there is wildlife in a very large quantity in Colorado. The adjective form of abundance is abundant, which is also a commonly used word. When using abundant in a sentence, we could say, there is abundant evidence supporting the idea that humans impact climate change. So, there is a large quantity of evidence supporting the idea that humans impact climate change. Abundant, by the way, is synonymous with plentiful. Our next word is prosper. Prosper is a verb, and it means to develop in a successful way or to be successful, especially when it comes to making money. Using prosper in a sentence, we could say, after adjusting her recipe, Matilda's lemonade business prospered. So, after adjusting or changing her recipe, Matilda's lemonade business was successful. Prosper can also be used to describe people. For example, we could say, Luciano seems to be prospering after moving to the countryside. So, Luciano seems to be developing in a successful way after moving to the countryside. Okay, our next word is dynamic. Dynamic has many meanings, and it can be used as both a noun and an adjective. Here we will focus on the more advanced definitions. When used as a noun, dynamic means the way in which people or things behave and react to each other in a particular situation. Using this definition in a sentence, we could say, The positive dynamic between the team members made the group very successful. So, the positive way the team members behaved and interacted with each other made the group very successful. Another example could be, Alexander wrote his thesis on the political dynamics that influenced the 2020 U.S. presidential election. So, Alexander wrote his thesis on the way political factors interacted with each other and influenced the 2020 U.S. presidential election. When used as an adjective, dynamic can mean always changing and making progress. This definition is often used to define a process, a relationship, or a system. For example, we can say, the company's product development process has always been dynamic. So, the company's product development process has always changed a lot and responded to changes to keep progressing. All right, our next word is mediocre. Mediocre is an adjective, and it means not very good or of only average standard. Using mediocre in a sentence, we could say, The musician's performance was mediocre. So, the musician's performance was not very good or of only an average standard. Another example could be, Sam was tired of dating mediocre people. So Sam was tired of dating average or even below average people or people who just simply weren't very good. Okay, our last word is upbeat. Upbeat is an adjective and it means positive and enthusiastic. When something is upbeat, it makes you feel like the future will be good. Using upbeat in a sentence, we could say, Luca remained upbeat even after losing the match. So Luca remained positive, enthusiastic, and optimistic about the future even after losing the match. Another example could be, 
Gwen's speech ended on an upbeat note. So Gwen's speech ended in a way that was positive and enthusiastic and made everyone feel that the future will be good. All right, with that, we've gone over some more advanced and important TOEFL vocabulary. I hope this lesson was helpful to you all. As always, subscribe below, give us a like if you found this video useful, and let us know in the comments section what else you'd like to learn about or see in our next walk and study lesson. Thanks everyone, take care.